here we have a graph, or we have to graph, an exponential growth function. Now just by looking at the equation we can tell that this will be a growth because our b value is bigger than 1, that 3. So I look at this and I see we have some extra numbers, our shifting numbers, the plus 1 and the minus 2. So this x plus 1 tells me that it's a horizontal shift because it's up there with the x. We just remember that, want to remember that the x is tricky. So um, it looks like a plus 1, but we're going to head to the left 1 with that shift. And then this minus 2 on the end is our vertical shift. Very straightforward. We're going to be going down 2. So if we look at this graph without the shifting numbers or the function, where you have y equals 2 times 3 to the x power, we're going to do a table of values for that function. We'll get our points and then do our shifting in the end. So... We have our negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So 3, I'm going to, well, let me move this for a second. 3 to the, we have to do the 3 to the x power first, because order of operations, we do that exponent, then we'll multiply by the 2. So 3 to the negative 2, remember we bring that to the bottom, so it ends up as 1 over 3 squared, which is 9. And then we multiply that times 2, so we have a 2 ninths for our first point. And then 3 to the negative 1 power, that negative exponent, so we bring it down here to the bottom. So 1 over 3 to the first times 2, which gives us 2 thirds. Now 3 to the 0 power equals 1, and then times that 2, we have 2. 3 to the first power is 3, times that 2 is a 6. And then 3 to the second power is 9, times that 2 is 18. So here we have all the points that we can plot. A negative 2, positive 2 ninths, um, that is going to be kind of close to 0, a little bit above it like that. Negative 1 and 2 thirds is 2 thirds of the way up right there. 0 and 2. 1 and then up here to 6 and then 2 and the positive 18 is just off the graph. So here are our points. Now we have to shift each of these points to the left 1 and down 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this point at a negative 2 and go to the left 1 and down 2 and here's my new point and I'm going to cross off my old one just so I know I'm done with that. Now my next point I go to the left 1 and down 2 and end up right here and we cross that one off. The next one to the left one, down two, we're done with that. And then our last one to the left one and down two. So we have our new points for our graph. Um, let me erase this work. There we go. So before I draw on the graph, I think it's helpful to figure out what the asymptote is going to be. Now because our graph shifted down two, that means our asymptote, which is usually right here on the x-axis at zero, is going to shift down two spots also. So it's actually going to be this line right here. And we want to remember um, our notation for that is y equals, and then that's at a negative 2. So y equals negative 2 is that line. Now we can go ahead and draw in our graph, um, connecting the points. You know it's going to curve up this way. This is what the growth looks like. And then on this other half down here, I'm just going to curve it down, and it's just going to kind of go right above that asymptote. We don't cross it or touch it, um, but there is our graph. So talking about domain, domain is what we put in for the x's. We could put in negatives, 0, and positives, so that's just in all real numbers. Now the range, it's helpful to look at the graph on this one to see um, what our range will be. We know it's going to be all real numbers, but then let's look and see if we have any restrictions. What I notice is we have this asymptote right here. And our entire graph is above that line. So our y values, which are vertical, everything's above that negative 2. Um, so we're going to say all of our numbers, but the y's are all greater than that negative 2. It's not going to be greater than or equal to because that's the asymptote. We don't ever touch this line. We're just going to um, slowly, slowly, slowly get closer and closer and closer to it. So y is going to be greater than negative 2. And there is graphing a growth function, exponential growth function.